Look at that. The Rise of Skywalker. Whew. So, um, I'm not 100% sure how I feel. So, I like this teaser trailer, first of all. I'm very happy that it came out. Very happy about the whole December thing, because that means uh, I have extra time off, and me and La Familia get to go to the uh, drive-in. Um... <laughs> and go watch it, and uh, I'll probably honestly, um, no, I'll wait to go see it with my wife and kids first, but uh, I'll probably definitely be seeing this again. Um, just some quick things about this. Uh, it's funny, I was talking to my uncle this morning about Star Wars and how the fact, or, and the fact that this sequel trilogy wasn't actually planned out, and how much that stinks. Um, he made a, uh, uh, a joke, he's a lot more harsh about the prequels than I am, well, actually, I love the prequels, so he, he doesn't like the prequels. Although last year, I remember, he watched them in preparation for The Last Jedi, and he was like, well, when you watch all the movies together, it kind of holds up. He might deny that, but I'm pretty darn sure he said that. Anyway, um, he, he loves Empire Strikes Back. That's his favorite Star Wars movie. He's like, you know, Empire and Star Wars, those are the best. Or those, you know, those are the ones, those are my Star Wars. I don't like Return of the Jedi because teddy bears and whatnot, um, which is fine. Uh, I, can see the, I can see that perspective. Uh, I disagree with it, but uh, I'll defend to the death his right to say it. So, anyway, um, what I thought was interesting about our conversation was that he said that he felt like George Lucas, with Star Wars, and probably with Empire too, fell into a pile of refuse, let's say refuse, and discovered gold. So he tried to do it again. He said, hey, I found a gold mine here. What was I doing before I fell into that pile of refuse? And how can I do it again? To fall into a pile of gold again, like I did earlier. And uh, I guess that was the prequels. Um, so you can include all the, uh, you know, Bantha Poodoo and uh, Jar Jar Fart jokes uh, you want there. Um, but, um, and he's not uh, super, like, I think he liked Rogue One okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, that's not the point of this. The point is uh, my thoughts on this teaser trailer. I'm very excited and very interested in it. Um, I liked seeing the inclusion of the, I believe it's the second Death Star, although on that ocean planet that it got, is part of Endor ocean planet? I didn't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be, well, maybe it's not supposed to be the second Death Star. Maybe it's supposed to be one of many Death Stars that was under construction and got destroyed. Um, the first Death Star blew up pretty much, so, uh, I don't think there would be the same kind of debris, although... When the second blood, blah, 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 when the second Death Star was destroyed, how was it? I don't remember the pattern of the explosion to really think about how it blew up. I don't think it just slowly crashed onto a planet. Although you know, there's the jokes about the uh, Ewoks being destroyed, their ecosystem, the Endor Moon uh, being destroyed by the uh, detritus. Is that if that's the right word? The debris of the second Death Star. Anyway. Um, I like everybody's new looks. I like uh, Finn's longer hair. I love the outfit that um, Poe is in. Uh, it looks very cool. Uh, I'm making Star Wars. They described it as looking like the mummy. And I'd seen um, some leaked pictures of it. And I thought, it, I agree, it, Brendan Fraser looks like, that's peak Brendan Fraser in those movies, man. Uh, those outfits look great on him. Anyway, and uh, Poe's looking similar. Um, gosh, it was really cool. Gave me a warm feeling. It brought warm feelings to my heart, seeing uh, Chewie and uh, Lando together in the Falcon. And I just, I wonder how much action they'll get in there. Um, I'm really interested, especially because I'm spoiler full, and I won't go into spoilers on this, um, but I'm interested based on the spoiler rumors that I've heard, um, just exactly what Rey and um, Kylo are doing on that non-desert planet Jakku, or is it the planet Jakku? I don't know, it looks very Jakku-like. Um, which I think is silly, but, uh, I mean, I guess it could be Tatooine. Tatooine looked Jakku like, uh, you know what, now I gotta go back and look, scan for if there were two suns or not, or if it, if there are shadows that are consistent with having two suns, because I totally know what that looks like. Um, and Star Wars totally, uh, captured that in the original film, right? Anyway, so, yeah, um, I'm very excited by this, uh, <laughs> It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm interested to see more trailers, but the whole thing about the Emperor cackling at the end, I'm pretty sure just like in the first teaser trailer, we had Luke saying stuff, lines from Return of the Jedi, and it even sounds like his, uh, no one's ever really gone, and this is taken from The Last Jedi, um, Return of the Jedi, Last Jedi. 
I don't think that this movie, Rise of the Skywalker, um, is going to actually feature the Emperor Palpatine. Sheev. She Sheev will make no appearances in this movie, I believe. Um, probably has something to do with his legacy. And I'm going to go ahead and make a bold guess that that isn't a, the second Death Star, but it was another Death Star that was under construction. Although, why would the, the similar portion of the thing be missing, like on the second Death Star? Hmm. Anyway, I don't know. I do not know. Um, but I find it all very interesting. Um... So anyway, there were no indications on that planet that there were going to be multiple, um, that there were multiple suns. Um, we see Kylo fighting with some guys in a forest, and it looks very interesting. Um, gosh, his his helmet getting put back together. I don't like the little droid with BB-8. I, I do not like that. But um, I'm kind of losing the thread here. Oh, I, what I wanted to talk about was the title of the episode. Um, although I'm happy to see flying troopers. That's pretty cool, whether they're just... Uh, um, First Order Troopers or, or not, um, it'll be interesting to find out. But yeah, the uh, the whole thing with The Rise of the Skywalker being the title. Um, I don't like the title. It doesn't feel like it has a good flow to it. Let's see. I'm watching it come up right now. Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Oh, not The Skywalker, The Rise of Skywalker. Golly. That's either about Ben ascending to... Uh, his Skywalker hood and being heroic like his grandfather and his father before him. Well, his father, his uncle, his mother, yeah, a bunch of people. Um, or it's about Rey becoming a Skywalker and Rey taking on the name of Skywalker. Um, I mean, <laughs> uh, I think I've heard this in fandom circles before on podcasts or whatever, but like, it's very possible that the Jedi could transform into being called Skywalkers or we'll learn... <laughs> we'll learn from some ancient uh, text found in that third Death Star or that Death Star that's crashed on that ocean planet or in the ocean on that planet that um, Jedi is actually an ancient word from whatever alien religion that means Skywalker. Um, anyway, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. We've got The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, both good titles, I think. Revenge of the Sith, pretty good. A New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker. I don't know. I'm optimistic. I love Last Jedi. It's my favorite movie. Um, can Rise of Skywalker be better than Last Jedi? It can be. I don't have a lot of faith in J.J. Abrams as a filmmaker, I mean, he does some good stuff, definitely good technical stuff, but, like, the ideas that he comes up with, I'm not 100% happy with. I thought Wrath of Khan, or, sorry, Star Trek Into Darkness, right? That was the second one, uh, was not not good stuff. I was I was very uncomfortable with certain things that happened in there, and I uh, just didn't like it as much. And the whole deception around the marketing of it was dumb. Um, you know, with these people and their secrets. <laughs> so, anyway, that's all I'm going to say, but, uh, yeah, gosh. I I don't know. I just had to say something because it's Star Wars and I got really excited and I think I watched it like three or four times. Um, the Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker Rising? Star Wars. Skywalker Rising. Hmm. Star Wars. Skywalker. I hardly know her. <laughs> Maybe that's a better one. I don't know. The Rise of Skywalker. Rise Skywalker. I'm going to go ahead and stop this now. You can subscribe if you like this rambling. I usually don't talk about Star Wars like this. This is a very reactionary video. Um, I'm out of yo. Actually, since I missed the button, do you, do you like the name? Do you like the name Rise of Skywalker? Or The Rise of Skywalker? And what do you think it means? Tell me. So I saw the I see all these big name uh, responses from people who love Star Wars more than I do because they have a bunch of toys or write for Star Wars or have Star Wars podcast. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and their reactions are always so overblown that I just had to do that for my uh, image thumbnail. And I'm just going to share with you that 
thing right now. So you should be seeing that in a moment or two. Okay, so, um, I'm faking my emotions because, uh, that's what you do to get the big money. Um, 